Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. Today we're going to do a quick read. Um, I always say it's going to be a quick read and it's really not, so but we're going to see what you need to know, okay? The energy that you're currently in, what or who is coming towards you, we'll take a look at what you need to know about that, and what is hidden, okay? So I got a new deck. I saw somebody's comment. Um, this is like weeks ago when I did my all signs, um, going through all the zodiac signs, and they asked if I could do a twin flame version of the all signs that I do, and I sure will because I got a new twin flame deck. I'm gonna use it during this reading, but I will some point this weekend um, come on and do an all signs um, so we can see the confessions. From your twin flames specifically if you feel like you're in a twin flame connection okay <clears throat> let's take a look here I'll use this deck first holy spirit spirit guides and angels please allow me to leave a clear message here for the aries collective what do they need to know see or hear at this moment in time thank you so much for your guidance okay Thank you so much. What do we need to see about the Aries twin flame? All right, so we have, um, I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. Um, please excuse if you hear my son in the background there, he's on Mardi Gras break. Still, he's fine, he's just having fun, and he's probably yelling at Pugsley, so. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look here. So this looks like a, a situation where somebody is in separation, all right? There's a situation where you are in separation, okay? From the Mystic Goddess Confession decks, we have... Ooh, I'm going to marry you one day, okay? Um, a direct message to you from your, I don't know why I say it like that, to you from your person's energy. Um, important, important message your person wants you to know. And we have toxic love, oh Lord, <laughs> okay? Let's pull some from the Island Time Wellness. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, give us one card. Was at the bottom of the deck mental disorder was at the bottom of the deck okay so we have healing heart and it came in reverse um healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction okay let me see what's at the bottom of the twin flame deck oh at the bottom it says our our connection still affects me all right so let's see here all right they want me to use this one okay Aries, let's see. We'll take a look, you know, um, if we have time. I said it was going to be a quick read. But we'll take a look at your um, person's energy as well, okay, after we do yours. So, let's see. All right, so it's pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Aries, what is the energy you're currently in? What is the energy that Aries is currently in? Okay. Ooh, you're in hermit mode, Aries. You're withdrawing. You're pulling back your light and your energy. You're also in deep reflection about this situation. Okay. You could be spending a lot of time alone right now, reflecting and thinking about the situation. Let's take a look at your person's energy. Oh, a whole bunch is falling out for them. Okay, they're coming up as the Knight of Cups here. 
Um, so when they tell you that I have to do something else right now, please understand, believe them, Aries, okay? Because if they were with you right now, they would not be fully committed. They would not be fully all in with the Knight of Cups energy. It's a very loving energy. It's a very romantic energy, but it's a not, I don't want to say it's not lasting, but some, this person is not fully committed to you. And it's maybe not ready to fully commit to you. The bottom of the deck with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Um, High Priestess and the Ten of Cups. So... We'll see here. All right, Aries, what's coming towards you? All right, so we have the hangman in reverse. All right, so there may have been a period of waiting, stagnancy, um, maybe not even speaking. That is about to end, okay? There's about to be movement in the situation, okay? I don't know if this person's coming towards you or there's just about to be communication because you are in hermit mode. What do you need to know about this, okay? Four of cups fell on top of it. You may still be, I feel like this might be your energy, Aries. You may still reject this offer. Yes, yeah, see you at the bottom of the deck in the sun and choose your happiness. Ooh, ten of swords. You've been through a lot with this person. And the lovers is underneath. Okay. So you may feel you may feel like you want to still reject this offer, or you feel like this person comes back, the offer is still not good enough. Because the Knight of Cups, you know, he's not the, the King of Cups. The King of Cups is emotionally mature, right? They're gonna take care of their emotions and they're gonna take care of yours too, right? They're not going to misplace your love. Let's say it like that. They're not going to misplace your love. They're gonna know how to deal with you. This Knight of Cups, see that horse? That horse is ready to go. I, I wish you can see it a little better. They have like the wispies by it showing the motion. The horse is ready to go at any moment. Even though he looks content, he's going to jump on that horse and go. Could go somewhere else to another relationship or just go, go right? Because the Knight of Cups is not really fully committed. Okay. Um, and let's see here. What's hidden, Aries? Ooh. All right. Should I take these? Um... There have we have the Empress. So Aries, this could be you with new love. This could be a pregnancy. Okay, Seven of Wands and a Six of Pentacles came out. So we'll clarify and see what's going on. Okay, the Empress could be a rebirth, a renewal. Okay, you guys could be renewing your love. This also could be the energy of someone being pregnant or finding out that they're pregnant. Obviously, if that does not apply to you, that is not your story. Okay. Um, but it's, she's very pregnant in this picture. Okay. This is also the energy of a new beginning. Abundance. This could be your abundance, Aries. We'll see. All right. I split the deck and I saw the Empress again. So let's see what's going on. So we have the Hermit. This is your energy, Aries. Let's see why you're in the Hermit mode. Three of Wands, you want something better. You expect more from this person. You waited for more from this person. But I feel like you're you're like, I'm going to be single. Yeah, Six of Swords, moving on. I'm going to be single until I receive something better. Look at that. That's the single card, the independent woman card or man. I'm going to be single. I'm going to be prosperous. I'm going to be abundant. See, this Empress could be you because the Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy. You're like, I'm really going to detach from this situation. This person has made me wait so long for them to grow up and be committed to me. And um, they're not doing it. So I'm going to go enjoy my life. Okay, you're moving on peacefully. You still think about this. It's still heavily in your mind with the Six of Swords because the Swords are still in your boat. But you're like, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Okay, Three of Wands here. It's the energy of just waiting and expecting something better. Okay, let's take a look at your person's energy, the Knight of Cups. Page of Swords, watching you, move on, stalking you, keeping tabs on you. The Chariot, okay, wow, Cancer energy. They're moving forward. They may be moving forward in another direction, but it's not settling with them. Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Like it's an energy of I have to move on or I have to go in a different direction, possibly because Aries doesn't want me or because they're focused on could be their success or building themselves up. OK, it doesn't always have to be another person. They could be focusing on, you know, this could be that they're at a distance. I'm seeing with the chariot here. 
Let's see. Oof, well, you know, that didn't last long. Three of Swords. <laughs> Three of Swords in reverse. Ooh, Lovers, Queen of Swords, and the Four of Wands, Aries. I'm not going to lie to you. They're with another person. Okay, um, they're with another person. Queen of Pentacles underneath. They could be with more than one other person. But the whole time, they're still watching you. They're still watching you. And I feel like with this chariot energy, it feels like they're trying to figure out a way how to get out of whatever the situation they're in. Because they're in another situation, but they're still in the Knight of Cups. So even if they're in another situation, they're not fully committed to this other person either. Six of Cups. There could be with um, children or a past um, a past lover. Oof, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, they definitely could have children with this person or going to have children with this person. But the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. See, upright, she's very nurturing. She's very giving. Um, mother type energy, but reverse, very controlling. Okay. Um, yeah, very rigid. This person here, there's a lot. I mean, there's... To have a three of swords on their side, there's definitely some cheating going on. And if you are in separation, they're not cheating on you. They're cheating on this person, okay? They could be also with this person for stability, money, um, showing up as the queen of pentacles, high priestess, and the lovers. It seems like, though, with the, the high priestess and the lovers, so they are being, because I'm seeing the high priestess face you. They're being pulled towards you. I feel like this person here is also fighting their intuition. They could be with this person to make you mad or jealous, Aries, to be honest. Oof, okay, so let's take a look here. What's coming towards you? Hangman in reverse. We have the page of, ooh, page of pentacles, communication, an apology, and the fool. Somebody wants a new beginning. Again, we're getting a lot of childlike energy. This could be immature communication. But the fool energy here, somebody wants to take a leap of faith. They're coming out of waiting. Pause. Ooh, king of pentacles. Now, page of pentacles leads me to believe that this could be new energy, especially with the fool. Coming towards you, Aries. Someone's making you an offer, this King of Pentacles. Virgo, um, Capricorn, Taurus here, somebody who's established, well off, could be a little bit older. Their finances are in order. You know, all that good stuff. But they're just, oh, they're a catch. Let's just say this. They're a catch. And they want to come in and offer you some sort of commitment. Um, they definitely want to start something here with the Fool. Okay, let's clarify one more time. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a slower moving energy, but the thing about these, all these pentacles, even though this is a slower moving energy and it might not be happening right this very second, it's coming. And when it comes, you're not gonna be able to get rid of this person. That's the beauty about having somebody take their time and being sure about you and the connection is that when they do come or they do finally make their move, they are going to... Um, be definite about you. They're not going to let you go. They're not going to pass up the opportunity. Whereas this other person, twin flame, whatever you want to call it, is indecisive or is in this runner chaser energy. At the bottom of the deck, we have the five of wands, the ace of cups, and the four of wands. So this is kind of like person who's going to come in who's going to want to fight for you. Like if you're still battling where you should put your attention, this person's going to be like, no, I'm the catch. Okay, whoever this this newer energy is. All right, what do you need to know about this with the Four of Cups? King of Swords. <clears throat> the Sun. And the Justice, okay. Aries, I feel like this is a message for you. You could... Um, Four of Cups here, there's an opportunity here. Someone's going to miss it. King of Swords energy, though, Spirit is saying that you're protected, first of all. You need to, you're giving all the, you're getting, receiving all the information to make a sound decision, okay? And once you detach from this, this situation or completely shut it out, that's when the sun is going to shine for you. 
Okay. If this is a message for people who keep going back to toxic relationships, once you fully cut out this toxic relationship, right? The sun is going to shine for you and then your love life will balance out. Okay. Then all the wrongs that have been done to you will be made right. They won't be made right with this person. So what spirit is trying to say is you keep trying to make it work with this person and that's never going to happen because honestly, it was never supposed to happen. Okay. This king of pentacles, whether it be an earth sign or not, which we have a very strong earth here, all page, knight, and king came up. Whatever their sign is, male or female, when they come in with this new beginning here, um, what spirit wants you to see is that they're not going to make you wait, especially with the hangman in reverse. They're not going to take their time making a decision about you other than whether or not you're somebody they want to be with. Once they've made their mind up, there is not going to be any waiting. Okay, the commitment is going to come. And that's probably what you've always wanted with this other person who says, I just have to do something else right now. Please just understand, I just have to do something else right now, right? You're not the priority. You're not the priority. And that's what spirit wants you to see is that you're going to be the priority in this person's life, which is why they're coming up as all pinnacles. All right. So let's see here. What's hidden with the Empress? Four of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Cups. Not going to lie, guys, this looks like a pregnancy and the Queen of Cups. Okay, either somebody, okay, because the Four of Swords here is someone after their healing, could be having this new beginning in love, obviously, if it's not pregnancy, having this new beginning of love. And if this is what you don't see, Aries, after you heal, let's just leave pregnancy out of it for a second. After you heal, Four of Swords, right, in reverse, you have this beautiful, this is absolutely beautiful. This beautiful new love that comes into your life. Um, man, this is really a beautiful combination here. Ace of Cups, the Empress, and the Queen of Cups. It's going to be so emotionally fulfilling. And it's because you've done the work, you've loved yourself, you've poured into yourself, and now your cup is going to be runneth over. So you'll have enough to pour into someone else and somebody will continue to pour into you. This is coming after the healing. All right, just to let you know, that has to be done. There is no way to get around that. Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. <laughs> oh, yeah. And look at that, the Hierophant. Look, look at that. I'll be damned. We have the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy. Strong um, Sagittarius energy. Queen of Swords and the Four of Wands. What I'm getting here is, this is super specific. But when this happens, somebody's going to start rushing in for a second chance. I'm also hearing like you move in with somebody. You living with somebody. You're probably halfway down the aisle. You know what I'm saying? Like you've already been proposed to or men you've proposed and the woman who has like literally gut wrenched and broke your heart comes back in, comes back in. And you have to be careful with this. Yeah, 10 of Pentacles, five of cups <laughs> and the five of wands. You have to be careful with this because when they come back in, they're going to do a really good job of tempting you. They're going to do a really good job, job of tempting you and maybe slowing you down to walk down the aisle. The proposal has already happened. Look at that. Ace of Pentacles. Thank you for clarification, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles. The proposal has already happened and they're just coming in to confuse you. Look at that. Two of Wands. Um, some would say, well, I'm decided to marry someone else. So I'm like, why, why would this person even be able to confuse me? Well, when you're dealing with the twin flame, 
when you're dealing with a, a, a stronger energy, something that is always meant to tempt you. You know, twin flame situations, karmic, they're always meant to tempt you and to trigger you for your growth. This is the test to see, have you fully grown? Have you fully ascended? Because if you have, then it won't be that big of a deal. But it's showing very powerful energy here with the temperance and the hierophant as a lesson, not just marriage, but a really a major lesson that comes in. Okay, and somebody very pissed off here with the Queen of Swords energy. So anyways, I said I was going to keep this quick. We already reached 20 minutes. So let me pull the Hidden Truth Oracle. We have, I don't react when people mention your name and I feel you even though we are apart. Mm -hmm. I feel like whoever this twin flame or this other counterpart is who said they had something else to do, um, they're in, I don't want to say their intentions, but however they left you, I felt like it never was settled, settled for them. I feel like the reason why they left you was ulterior motives for themselves like i said i.e maybe some financial issues they were a moocher living off of someone else that kind of situation so uh, don't be surprised if they do rush back in when they suit you some else because they may have felt like you would have never moved on with anybody else which is why they kept you waiting while they did their own shit very toxic love energy here okay so that's what i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed the reading take care bye